Also, another crazy thing happened to me recently. It was a Sunday morning, and I fried eggs for breakfast. But something was definitely wrong. I wasn't sure if it was the eggs or me, though. Now, you've tried fried eggs, right? They normally taste like, you know, eggs. But that time, along with the eggs, I could also taste lemon, vanilla yogurt, and even some paper. And it's not as good as you Mm. might think. Yogurt tastes nice by itself, but together with eggs, it's gross. Whatever was the reason, I decided I'd be okay with just a tea for that day. But as soon as I tried it, (laughs) I spat it out. What is that? Did I put a spoonful of black pepper there? I needed some water ASAP. I got a glass and, thankfully, it was just a regular glass of water. I tried to eat some strawberries, but along with the normal strawberry taste, they had a taste of hot chili. (laughs) That's not a good combination, to be honest. It looked like something happened to all of the food in the house. I also had an orange juice, so I drank a glass of it. Surprisingly, it tasted totally fine. Suddenly, I got a weird thought. Do I taste colors? It was so crazy and strange that I needed to check this theory immediately. I admit, I licked the white back of my cell phone, but it really did taste like vanilla yogurt, just like the egg. So, it was true. I could taste colors that would mix with every food's original taste and mess it up. I wanted to go to the doctor, but although this new superpower was weird, it was still a bit exciting. Also, I couldn't wait to figure out what other tastes are like. So, I went to a store and got myself a pack of markers. I got to the table, opened the yellow one, and licked it. It did taste like lemon. So, I licked each one and made a list. Pink tasted like strawberry. Red was chili, orange was an orange. Blue was very bitter, light blue was salty, and violet was blueberry. Black was black pepper, beige, nut musk, gray, paper, and green tasted like puke. Well, I had to conclude, I don't eat green food from now on. Not that I was really sad about it though, only one color was left, the brown one. I was very reluctant to try it, but I had to figure it out. To my relief, it had the taste of coffee. I don't like coffee, but it could be worse. I knew I had to go see my doctor, but I kind of wanted to live with this superpower for a while. It doesn't happen to you every day, you know. So I decided I'll go to the doctor tomorrow. And today, I had to learn how to live with this ability. I had to avoid putting in my mouth anything black, gray, blue, and green. Not only food, but the dishes and cutlery as well. And I had to figure out what food I can actually eat, because I didn't like strawberries that tasted like chili pepper. So I went to the store to get some transparent dishes. While walking, I was thinking about my menu for today. Orange juice works, strawberry, vanilla, and lemon yogurt too. Hmm. I can make a fruit salad with mango, raspberries, grapes, banana, and yogurt. But that was all I could come up with. As I was thinking, I was biting my lip and found out it tasted like strawberry. In the store, it was pretty easy to find a transparent bowl, but spoons and forks were a problem. I think I went to every store in my city until I could finally find them. As soon as I got back home, I cut all the fruits and made a fruit salad. I hadn't eaten much that morning, as you remember. Honestly, it was the best salad ever. I saved some money because I didn't have to buy berries, oranges, and lemons, but the taste was there. As I was enjoying my meal, the phone rang. It was my grandma, and she invited me for dinner that evening. I tried to say I couldn't make it, but she wouldn't listen. Grandmas. You know it's just impossible to skip when they want to feed you. So she said she didn't want to hear any excuses and that I had to be at her house by 6. This meant I couldn't wait until tomorrow. I had to go to the doctor right then and get rid of this superpower before my grandma made me eat puke and drink tea with black pepper. I checked the time. I had only 20 minutes before my doctor left, and the clinic was several blocks away. I finished my salad and ran out of the apartment. I got to the clinic just 5 minutes before it closed for the day and asked if my doctor could see me because I had an emergency. To my relief, he agreed. When I told him that I could taste colors, he looked at me puzzled and probably thought it was a stupid prank. 
Then I told him the whole story, about the fried egg for breakfast and how I bought and tasted all the markers, that violet was blueberry and green was not an apple as he might have thought, that I spent hours trying to find a transparent spoon and fork. To be honest, in my head it sounded better and was making much more sense. The doctor was silent and kind of suspicious. He measured my temperature, my blood pressure, and looked at my mouth. So, you've been eating markers, he smiled. Oops, I guess my tongue was the color of a rainbow. Well, that really doesn't sound normal for a grown-up. The doctor obviously didn't believe me, so he just let me go, recommending a good night's sleep. So, I guess I was stuck with it, and I had to go to grandma's. Unfortunately, there was no way she'd feed me strawberry yogurt for dinner. I got home to get my new cutlery, so at least I didn't have to taste paper when eating with my grandma's gray metal fork. I had another couple of hours, so I did some googling but still couldn't find any solution or even research on my condition. I thought that maybe I could wash it off, so I drank a gallon of water. But it didn't help, so I went to grandma's place feeling doomed. Plus, I really needed to go. She was happy to see me and announced that she had my favorite broccoli pancakes for me. Yeah, maybe yesterday they had been my favorite, but definitely not anymore. Hmm. I tried to say I'm not hungry and I could just drink some orange juice, but of course, she wouldn't listen. She gave me a plate with five pancakes and a cup of black tea. Suddenly, I got an Hmm. idea of how I could get rid of at least the pepper taste. If I put a piece of lemon in the tea, I'll get brown. Therefore, I'll have a coffee tea instead of a pepper tea. I was lucky. My grandma did have the lemon, so the tea problem was solved. But the worst part was the pancakes, and my grandma was looking at me all excited and pleased. I had to eat. I was trying hard to control my facial expression and look very happy, as if I was eating the best food on the planet, even though it was the most terrible meal in my life. And yes, I was drinking a lot of my coffee tea. Well, three cups. But when I finished and thanked my grandma, she was so happy that I understood eating puke was worth it. Turned out my grandma actually had a vanilla yogurt. So I ate all she had to get rid of the taste I still had in my mouth after the pancakes. On my way home, biting my strawberry lip, I was thinking. I had to come up with a plan on how to get rid of this ability but I couldn't think of anything. So as soon as I got home, I just went to sleep, even though it was only 9 p.m. I slept for 11 hours, and the next morning, I made myself a fruit salad with yogurt. Again. I guess from then on, it was my dish for the rest of my life. I was eating it with my transparent fork and watching a TV show, when I suddenly realized I couldn't taste any lemon there, and no orange as well. I bit my lip, and it didn't have a taste anymore. With my hand shaking, I opened the fridge to get my strawberries. I ate one, and it tasted like a regular normal strawberry. No chili pepper. Everything was back to normal like it never happened. But I swear it did. Really, 